Hey guys, my name is Rachel Quintanilla. I am part of the CSU Pueblo teaching program. I am going to be teaching you a really, really cool math game to keep your minds working while you're on this little break from school. So just hang tight. We are going to be learning how to add it up today. Add It Up is a super fun game where we practice our addition skills. We learn how to represent and solve problems that involve addition. You can also do it to involve subtraction or multiplication. This is going to be great for students first grade on up just to get those addition skills sharp. This is going to teach us to use appropriate tools strategically and how to attend to precision. What you're going to need today are beans, three cups, a deck of playing cards, something to write on, something to write with, and most importantly, your thinking. This game is something that is super important to know because you're able to practice your math skills as well as getting to use manipulatives, which are gonna be the beans, to help model and solve your problems. This is really great for the concrete learning because the beans are going to be the manipulatives. You're bridging into that symbolic learning because you can use your pencil and pen or whatever you pick to draw with, your piece of paper, and you're gonna be drawing images which are gonna be helping you with your mental math. And then of course symbolic because you're going to realize that the numbers in your head are represented by the actual physical amount on the cards. So in order to switch this up, you can also practice multiplication by using the cards. Just remember. All right, everybody, we are gonna get started. We are gonna add it up and have some fun. With your three cups, you are gonna be creating an addition machine. You can just leave your three cups separate, but one cup is gonna put your card one beans, cup two is gonna be your card two beans, and then you're gonna have your total. So you're gonna pour those all in together. I have my beans right here, so I can just grab those if I want to add with them. I have my cards. I have already shuffled them, so they're ready to go. Make sure with your deck of cards that you get rid of all of your face cards. So you don't want any queens, kings, jacks, jokers. Don't want any of it. But make sure you keep all of your aces because those are going to represent the number one. I also have my piece of paper and I have a permanent marker so that way it's a little darker for you guys to see what I'm writing. So to start off with, if you're going to play by yourself, then you're just going to be picking two cards at a time and you're going to be adding them up. You can practice drawing a picture to add. You can do your beans in your cups as manipulatives to practice adding, or you can practice mental math. If you're going to be playing with two players or more, you're both going to take turns. So at the same time, you're both going to grab two cards. So there's player one's cards and player two's cards. You're going to flip them over and you're going to add them. So I would do five plus six. I know that five plus five equals 10, plus one would equal 11. So player one has 11. Player two would have eight plus seven. So I know that seven plus seven equals 14, plus one would equal 15. So since 15 is a bigger number than 11, player two is going to keep all of the cards. If you're playing with more than one person, whoever has the most cards at the end of the game is going to be the winner because they're going to count up all their cards and the most wins. If you're playing it by yourself, which I'm going to be doing right now just to show you, I'm going to pick two cards. I have two and nine. So with these cards, I can either do it mentally. I could say that nine plus one equals 10 plus one equals 11. I can draw a picture. So I'm gonna open my marker. I can do one, two, plus nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, equals, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I would know that two plus nine equals eleven, or I can use my beans. So in order to use my beans, I'm going to grab two beans, 
for card one. I'm gonna throw that in my card one slot right here. In my addition machine. And then I'm going to get my card two, which is nine. So I'm going to grab nine beans. There's two, four, six, eight, and nine. So I have nine beans right here for card two. And I'm going to put that in my card two slot. And then I'm gonna open that and let all of my beans fall out. Open my total to let it all fall out. And then I'm gonna count my beans. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So card one, which was two, card two, which was nine, card one plus card two, so two plus nine equals 11. This is a really great way to practice adding it up. You're able to see that the beans represent the number. So this is not just a number, it actually represents two, and nine is actually represented right here with nine. So two plus nine equals 11. So you guys are just going to keep adding those cards two at a time until they're all gone. If you're playing with more than one person, you're just going to play until the deck is gone. Whichever person has the most cards is going to be the winner. If you're doing it by yourself, just keep those thinking caps on and keep adding. Get that practice in. Keep your brain sharp and have fun doing it. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I hope you guys are having a great little break from school. I hope you're keeping those brains smart. And I hope you guys are staying safe. Most importantly, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.